When a marriage or civil partnership comes to an end, it's an emotional time for everyone, especially if you have children. But the situation shouldn't stop you from getting your fair share of what you've put into your relationship. It's only right and fair that you and your ex share the things of value that you own together or separately, such as houses, cars and savings. But one thing of value is easily overlooked. Pensions. Pensions are an important ingredient in what's called the matrimonial pot. Their worth can be considerable and often even greater than that of a house. Getting a valuation to find out what your and your ex-partner's pensions are worth is the first crucial step to reaching a fair outcome. The law says that the values of all pensions held by both partners need to be considered when you get divorced. This includes state pensions and pensions set up before your relationship began. And even though a pension is only ever in one partner's name, depending on both your needs, some or all of the pensions can be shared between you. There are many reasons why your pensions might be unequal. Often, one partner works full-time and builds pension benefits. Meanwhile, the other works part-time, brings up children and runs the household. Without this support, the full-time worker wouldn't be able to work full-time. Sharing any pensions that have built up between you is only right. This isn't something just in the distant future or only relevant to well-off people. Pensions are things of value that everyone should think about when agreeing their finances on divorce. Many jobs have good pensions, especially those in the public sector, like teachers, civil servants and healthcare workers. So, what should you do? A good first step is to visit Advice Now's A Survival Guide to Pensions on Divorce. This will give you free, clear information on how to find out the value of your pensions and a roadmap to see you through the process. And it suggests how to find a financial expert who specialises in this field. You may need to pay for their services, but they will help you sort things out and get the settlement you deserve. Taking pensions into consideration is each partner's right and it's the only way to get a truly fair final settlement. Remember, you're not alone in this. Lots of people successfully share their pensions every year. You can do it. And if you do, your future self will thank you.